Hey, Jay, do you remember SARS? No. Hey, Mike, do you remember HFR? Is that also some kind of deadly infectious disease? No, it stands for high frame rate. Remember, Peter Jackson thought it was going to revolutionize movies by making them look worse. Oh, I remember that. What a hit. Hey, Jay, do you remember Ebola? I do. That spread just as fast in the United States as the popularity of 3D movies. <laughs> hey, Jay, speaking of movies, do you know what month it is? Fuck you, it's January. Oh, there's a storm cloud over your head. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck did you do? Oh, shit! It's a perfectly good empty bottle of booze! That's right, Jay, but after taking a look at the film slated to be released in 2015, we're gonna have to change our saying to, Fuck you! It's year! That's right, Mike, we're in for another depressing year of remakes and sequels, where the only escape is putting the barrel of a gun in your mouth. But make sure you have it aimed at your brain and not the back of your throat. I've made that mistake before. Let's start with another Taken film, Taken 3, Taken Again, starring Leslie Nielsen. That's right, Mike. When one simple idea provides some moderate success at the box office, let's make it as many times as we can or at least until Liam Neeson stops loving money. What other sequels can we look forward to, Jay? Paranormal Activity 9, The Ghost Dimension. Jurassic World. Oh, great. Insidious Chapter 3. Why are they chapters? Mission Impossible 5? Alvin and the Chipmunks 4. Seriously. Fast and the Furious 7. Mike, I think it's just called Furious 7 now. They dropped the the fast and the part because the target audience for those films can no longer read more than one word at a time. <laughs> well, that's okay, because Paul Walker can no longer read anything. What? 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 The Hunger Games, part four. Mockingjay, part two of two and a half. Isn't that the movie that caused Philip Seymour Hoffman to shoot himself up with a deadly dose of heroin? No, that was the Fast and the Furious 7. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> now he's called Philip C. Less Hoffman. Cause he's dead. <laughs> it's so much easier to make fun of dead celebrities. They can't do anything about it. But their lawyers sure can. Uh, don't forget, Mike, 2015 also offers a wide variety of first sequels to some of your favorite films. That's right. If you love these films the first time, you're sure to love them again. And it's the same film, just with the two after it. I can't wait. What are these movies, Mike? Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Paul Blart Mall Blart 2. Avengers 2. This time with the same amount of action. The Woman in Black 2. Was there a Woman in Black 1? Maze Runner 2. Why, that's awesome. Amazing would have been better? Why? Why would Amazing? Ted 2. Magic Mike 2. Sinister 2. Hotel Transylvania 2. Pitch Perfect 2. Pitch Perfect 2. Well, that's nothing to sing about. I don't get it. What are you, dumb? Is that it? Jay, do you mean to tell me that there are no remakes this whole year? <laughs> oh, you're silly. <laughs> What's everybody laughing at? <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> What's everyone laughing at? Terminator remake. Mad Max Remake. Point Break Remake. Poltergeist Remake. National Lampoon's Vacation Remake. With everyone's favorite, Ed Helms. Ah! 
also known as Box Office Cancer. Fantastic Four Remake. Batman Remake. Superman Remake. Spider-Man Remake starring Tobey Maguire. Abbott and Costello Meet the Wolfman Remake. Catwoman Remake starring Halle Berry. Hunger Games Part 2 Remake. The Flintstones Remake starring Lady Gaga as Dino. Guardians of the Galaxy Remake. The 1987 World Series Remake. Mask Remake. This time Cher plays Mask. Well, at least we can always count on new and exciting superhero movies from Marvel. They have their films planned out for the next 37 years, and I'm sure they'll never, ever get stale. Movies like... Boy, they're putting all their eggs in one basket, aren't they? Don't fall over this, it goes down really far. <laughs> Absolutely! But Mike, you're forgetting about the most anticipated film of 2015. Are you talking about Get Hard, starring the elderly comedian Will Ferrell? No. The Gem Movie, a film based on a forgotten 1980s cartoon show for little girls and elderly gay men? No. The Cinderella Reboot? No. The Jungle Book Reboot? No, damn it. I'm talking about The Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Oh, that movie. To be honest, I'm not all that excited about that. But I know someone who is. Oh yeah! Star Wars! I fucking love Star Wars! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, you tell me who's got a faulty motivator now, you fucker!